The birth of Archie, the eldest child of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, was considered a disaster for the press by one royal photographer due to breaking with long-standing royal tradition. The Sussexes opted out of the usual photo session on the steps outside London's private Portland hospital after Archie was born on May 6, 2019. Instead, photographers captured the first glimpse of the royal baby came two days later during a photo call at St. George's Hall at Windsor Castle. In an interview with The Sun's royal exclusive, British photographer Arthur Edwards, who is famous for his decades-long work with the royal family, criticized Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for their management of having children. Their boys follow their preferences instead of adhering to supposed postpartum traditions. Starting with Princess Anne in the 1980s, Edwards insists the entire event was staged to suit the couple. He also said that the press gave inaccurate information about when Markle went into labor and gave birth, and sarcastically commented that Archie almost had teeth before the press knew he was born. Edwards mentioned that they believe Markle went into labor at 2 p.m. when the baby was born hours earlier and was expected to have a home birth when in reality, Archie was born in a hospital. According to Page 6, Markle initially planned to give birth to Archie at their then UK home, Frogmore Cottage, with an all-female team of midwives. However, because her son was a week past his due date, doctors advised her to go to the hospital to give birth. Speculation about Archie's birth has spread on social media, with rumors and conspiracy theories spreading about the authenticity of Archie and Lilibet. Some suggested that other mothers were lending their children for photo opportunities. A YouTube video titled Meghan Markle's Fake Baby Expose on the Daily Empress channel, which has attracted tens of thousands of views, suggests that Archie may be a lifelike doll, taking on doll-like features, his as evidence. Critics also noted that Archie appeared motionless in Prince Harry's arms during the photo shoot, leading some to conclude that he was a fake baby. Viewers compared the video of Welsh introducing their newborn to Harry and Meghan's video introducing Archie, noting that Welsh's babies were clearly active while Archie seemed inert. Observers also commented that the newborn often moved and made noise, unlike Archie, who seemed to remain still. Speculation about the timing of Archie's birth arose when Harry's comments in an interview hinted that Archie could have been two weeks old at the time of his introduction. Harry's diplomatic response to a question about Archie's appearance, suggesting that babies change rapidly and that it is difficult to determine the resemblance early on, was interpreted by some as a revealing oversight Archie's real age.